Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Skyrim. So, we have a bandit camp to murder. Or liberate, or whatever other word that is less severe than murder, but still shows a successful use of force and getting them out. <laughs> Freedom! Although that would be the other way around, I guess. It's what they're going to be screaming when they try to get out of the hold of Whiterun. But anyways, let's go kill some bandits. Because apparently that leader has a bounty on him. And we want that bounty. I mean, we don't need that bounty. Is that a... I, th I hope that was just a, uh, a cloud and not a dragon. We killed a dragon last episode. We can't do that every episode. It becomes less special. No, I don't think it is. Alright. It's right up here. And after this, we're going to go to Riverwood. Uh, find out who took our damn horn. Because that's our horn. And then we will continue to Orphan Rock and see if we can't fix the dying tree. By getting a knife from Hags. Still not quite sure how that one works. Alright. Now, thankfully, I don't think that there are any magic users up here. Ah, wolves. Bad dog. This is actually a very small camp, too. And there's no one here, and half the people are dead. What? Who killed all of them? I didn't do it. I swear, it wasn't me. Ooh, orcish arrows are starting to pop up. No, really, what the f- what? Who? There's been a lot of murder here, and it wasn't me. I didn't do it. You can't pin it on me. Oh, we have to go inside of the mine anyway. That's fine, we'll kill them in here too. Hopefully we get nice uh, upgrade in one of our pieces of armor. We're sorely lacking in that department. Everything's still leather. Elvish equipment would be nice. Well, I guess I'm not coming back that way. Did he just... walk right by me and say he, he thought he heard something? Check your eyes, mate. Full iron gear. And a key. Hmm. We're going to need some light here. That was the wrong button. There we go. There's some healing potions. Why, thank you. I will take that. And a bear trap on top of a barrel. Real useful there. Wait, have I been down here? Oh, I guess I have. Just never had to kill these people before. Or maybe they just reuse the same room, for all we know. Jesus. Ooh, he had lots of gold on him, too. And steel stuff. Too bad we don't use heavy armor. Do you have anything worthwhile? Couple things worthwhile. Poacher's axe. Three extra damage to animals. <laughs> that is a very interesting enchantment. I feel like I should just take that just to have the uh, effect. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. No, oh, there's a bunch of tusks here. I guess this is a great place to go if you want to fulfill that one quest. No, definitely haven't been here. There's books that are unread. I guess they just reuse the same layout. Necklace of Sneaking. Ooh. Ooh. Dwarven Mace. So. This one is prices are better. Yeah, the stamina is great. 
Did I equip it? I did not. I messed that up. We want Kinnereth. There we go. Get some extra stamina on us. Be able to run farther. Like, a single step further, but, you know, it helps. It helps to have that little bit. Drought of strength. Coin purse. Ooh. Oh, spell tome. What spell was that for? Transmute mineral ore. Oh. Wow. That, uh... You don't usually find that earlier on, but... This makes iron mines way more interesting. Huh. Uh, we may play around with that if we end up needing a whole bunch of money. Because transmuting uh, to gold is a very, very quick way to get a good bit of cash. And I think this is an iron mine. It makes sense why we find that here. I wonder if that always spawns here. I don't know. Probably does. If it's an iron ore mine. And there's a transmute spell, yeah. Most likely. Granted, there are probably easier ways to make money. I mean, mostly uh, selling equipment. But this is a good second, right? Because you go through a lot of mines during the course of the game. And it makes sense. Can easily get that. All right. Is there anything further in? Well, I got hit with something. Oops. Oh, there's a secondary exit. Oh, wow. There's a lot of dead people here. And a lot of money, too. Wow, these bandits suck. They just left all the money here. <laughs> and a deer. Poor deer. Alrighty then. Well, that was a fun little camp. Ow, that's fire. Alright. Well, back to Riverwood. I actually don't know where we turn this in either. Because, hmm, well, we have to find out which, uh, which actual hold this is for. If I go to my map, where does it want me to turn this in? Oh, wow. No, that's a white run thing. We can actually turn in the bounty right away. Sometimes you get bounties for holds that are just on the other side of the planet. Like you'll have to go to uh, do something uh, near solitude, but uh, you got to turn it in and rift in. And it's like, God damn it. There's a lot of horses. A lot of horses. Let's take a horse. They're ripe from the for the picking. They also don't run away when you come after them. They're not very uh, frightful horses. But of course, as always, the best horse will come later. Once we, uh... Once we do... The Dark Brotherhood, whenever that is. Not anytime soon. We've got plenty to cover in this game. In some ways, this is a lot bigger than Oblivion, and another is a uh, uh, kind of smaller, just because of the amount of the radiant quests that pop up. Like this bounty is not a quest that is well normal to the game. It's not a named quest that pops up in your miscellaneous stuff. But, you could do it and get some extra money. It is very nice for actually bringing you around and uh, showing you the different dungeons that they have. After a while, it gets a little boring, though. Uh, I could have sworn that dude has a quest for you, but apparently he doesn't have it. Either that or I've completely missed it. All right. Give me money! I deserve it. We have worked hard and murdered many people. Well, I mean, somebody else murdered the people outside. But I murdered the person that counted. So, I get the money. 
Actually, part of me thinks that it might have been Lydia as I was running through that area. <laughs> and she's just got sidetracked. I serve Jarl Balgrim. Excellent. You've done us a great service. There we go. A hundred gold? I picked up more gold from the dude's dead body. <laughs> that is whatever. I'll just transmute all of my iron ore to gold. Sell that off. Make hundreds and hundreds. Alright. Let's take the trip down to Riverwood. Well, south, but we are going up the mountain a little bit. I might be able to go around the mountain a little and check out, like, if we were to go take a straight down route. I'm not sure how well that would fare for us. Well, let's try it out anyway. The exploration in this game is really well done. Zoom! Alright. So, if I go straight down this way, and we go up the mountain, I think I can get around to where the... Actually, I don't think I can go up this part of the mountain. It's a little too steep. Yeah. Oh, well. Really need to find the next word for that, too. Just so I could go way further with the sprint. Hmm. If only we also had the Dragon Rider stuff. Although, it's not as useful as it sounds. You can't fly wherever you want. But you can fly to a couple of places. I don't think I've ever successfully used it to get up in elevation, though. <laughs> if anything, the dragon is kind of random in where it drops you off. Oh, come on. Get up there. Get up. There we go. I knew you could do it. This wouldn't be Skyrim without breaking... All of the, uh, ramps and travel. This is actually where we would definitely need the horse if we wanted to go up the mountain. Maybe I'll show that off one day. Just completely breaking travel with horses. Because they, uh, they can jump past anything. A river was a lot closer than I thought it was. All right. So who took my horn? It's a very, very important question, and I need it answered immediately. Into the tavern we go, because obviously they're going to be there. I mean, who isn't? This is where you get all your information. You're that visitor been poking around. Mm. I'm the innkeeper. It's my business to keep track of strangers. Oh, right. We have to... I think it is the attic room, right? Attic room, eh? Well, we don't have an attic room. But you can have the one on the left. Make yourself at home. You don't have an attic room? Oh, do we have to talk to you? Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. Huh! <laughs> I can do the other half of this too. I appreciate your help. Please take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Oh, cool! I got the gold from the other half too. All right then. All right. Let's take a, a little sleep and see who comes to visit us in the middle of the night. Probably the Dark Brotherhood again. Maybe not. So you're the Dragonborn. I've been hearing so much about. You took the horn. Yeah, you took my horn. Not here. Follow me. Okay. Can, can, please, Lydia, just Lydia, we can't get out the door. Hey, there we go. So where are we going to talk in secret? Why, of course, right across the hall in another room. <laughs> 
much else to tell. Because this is so much more secure than just over there. Sorry, Lydia. Oh, oh, oh. She got a secret room. Well, this is, um, interesting. What do you have over here? Oh, no. Not these assholes again. Rise and fall of the blades, huh? Well, if you called it, give yourself a pat on the back. The Greybeards seem to think you're the Dragonborn. I hope they're right. I hope they're right, too. Surprise. I guess I'm getting pretty good at my harmless innkeeper act. Yeah, well, you're not a harmless innkeeper, obviously. <laughs> Expecting someone taller. Good. The whole point of being in hiding is to appear to be someone you're not. I definitely got that. I didn't go to all this trouble on a whim. I needed to make sure it wasn't a foul more trap. I am not your enemy. I already gave you the horn. I'm actually trying to help you. I just need you to hear me out. Very desperate sounding. Like I said in my note, I've heard that you might be dragonborn. Yeah, I can shout. I'm also a lizard. Lizardborn. Well, someone like you for a very long time. If you really are a dragonborn. Before I tell you any more, I need to make sure I can trust you. You want me to shout at you? <laughs> if you don't trust me, you were a fool to walk in here in the first place. I've killed a lot of people. I, I, I killed pretty much everyone. I knew the Greybeards would send you there if they thought you were Dragonborn. They're nothing if not predictable. When you showed up here, I knew you were the one the Greybeards sent and not some Thalmor plant. But I, I showed up here before I went to the Greybeards. What? What is that? What? Plot hole. We remember what most don't. That the Dragonborn is the ultimate dragon slayer. You're the only one that can kill a dragon permanently by devouring its soul. Because apparently dragons are like zombies. Can you devour a dragon's soul? Well, it, it happens on its own. Sure, yeah. But... This is no time to play the reluctant hero. You either are or aren't Dragonborn. But I'll see for myself soon enough. Will you? Yes. We're very old enemies. And if my suspicions are correct, they might have something to do with the dragons returning. I don't know if the Thalmor are that smart. What is important is that you might be Dragonborn. Okay, then. Dragons aren't just coming back. They're coming back to life. They are zombie dragons. They've gone somewhere for all these years. They were dead, killed off centuries ago by my predecessors. Now something's happening to bring them back to life, and I need you to help me stop it. This went from Skyrim to Resident Evil. I know they are. I visited their ancient burial mounds and found them empty. <laughs> and I figured out where the next one was back to life. We're going to go there, and you're going to kill that dragon. If we succeed, I'll tell you anything you want to know. You know dragons are kind of hard to kill, right? Like, literally everyone else that's fought a dragon with us has just died horribly and horrifically. Um, but I guess you're set. A few years ago, I said almost the same thing to a colleague of mine. Well, it turned out he was right and I was wrong. Okay, then. You should know. You got the map for me from Bleak Falls Barrow. The Dragonstone was a map I did? of ancient dragon burial sites. I've looked at which ones are now empty. The pattern is pretty clear. It seems to be spreading from the southeast, down in the Geralds near Riften. The one at Kynesgrove is next, if the pattern holds. Hmm. So I guess she's in league with the uh, court wizard over in Whiterun, because he's the one we gave the actual Dragonstone to. Uh, very interesting. I guess that might mean that he's actually technically part of the Blades, but I don't think he's actually part of the faction as far as the actual, like, back-end part of the uh, game is concerned. Kynesgrove. There's an ancient dragon burial near there. If we can get there before it happens, maybe we'll learn how to stop it. All right. Now, there was one problem to actually doing this. I mean, we could go kill the dragon. There is a problem with continuing the Blades quest in that 
there is a pretty heavy stopping point eventually. Um, also, totally gonna take the map. Let's get on the road to Kynes Oh, wait, I gotta raid your shit first. You got good things here, I think. Oh, these are just... Oh, yeah. Oh, look at all the potions. Oh, so many potions. All for the taking. So, as I was saying, there's a kind of an issue in that there's a heavy stopping point with this quest. Um, and really, the outcome, like, almost everybody sort of hates it. Your pet heads back home? What? What pet? What? Oh, the dog, Miko. Where did he go back? Does he go back to the shack? I don't think I've ever seen that message with the dog before. Hopefully he actually heads to my home. Which, he was already there, but... Uh, split up and meet there, for sure. So... Now we have two other options. Kynes Grove is like, uh, where is it? Oh, right. I don't have this quest. Delphine. Oh, no, I do. Oh, right. Yeah. So Kynes Grove is like all the way in Riften. Uh, I mean, technically we haven't been to that place yet. And it's real next, right next to Windhelm. So it's good chance to actually go into one helm and start a whole bunch of quests including the dark brotherhood which is up here not a bad idea um to go there but i still feel like we should go to orphan rock first because we are so close and it would be a lot easier to get there so let's head south first and we actually have to head up to helgen uh we're not going to stick around because it's just full of bandits and there's nothing there but we can see how it was destroyed. <laughs> it's interesting because there's always in these games uh, a mod that insists on resurrecting or, or rebuilding the destroyed city at the beginning of the game. Like, if you explode Megaton, I think there was like a post-explosion mod. Uh, and wait, does this, is this cave? Does this go somewhere? Oh, Ember Shard Mine. I didn't even realize we were there. Um, yeah, Megaton, there's like a post-explosion mod. There's a mod for rebuilding Kavach after its destruction and Oblivion. I'm almost certain that there are plenty of mods that turn Helgen into something very different after its uh, destruction. Because it's pretty much just like an empty nothing. There's not any quests associated with it. I think you could get Radiant quests for, um, well... Uh, basically killing the bandit leader but that's about it for Helgen there's not much left there past the intro of the game not that there needs to be much there but it's always interesting how the very 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 first town always gets some special love from everybody who plays the game alright so Falkry is down that way which we have to talk to the uh actual Jarl from Falkreath. There's a house here? There's a settlement here? Who the fuck lives in the middle of the woods? Let's go say hello. Although it's probably like another witch that wants to kill me. It's always witches. I don't know why, but it's always witches. Huh? <laughs> uh... Oh. Yeah. So this is... I don't remember a lot of worshippers being dead, but this is kind of a common thing and the reason for the entire... Uh, Thalmor Orders. Yep. We'll read those in a second. It's kind of the entire reason for um, the Civil War in Skyrim. Is these assholes right here. Uh, these actually sell for a lot. So I'm going to grab them. And they're not that heavy. Because this is a shrine to Talos. Uh, and Talos is the false ninth divine 
or considered the false ninth divine by the Thalmor right here. So the Thalmor, because they are in control, or rather the Dominion is, has outlawed it. Thus, anybody who worships at Shrines of Talos uh, can instantly be murdered, at least by their doctrine. Hence, the Civil War. Where's the Thalmor orders? Here it is. Response to your report dated 22nd Morning Star 401. Your request for an expeditionary force is hereby denied. Sanyan, this is the seventh report you have filed this month, and not one of your leads, not one, has turned up so much of a shred of evidence that a Talos shrine exists in the Lake Ilioneth uh to region region no prisoners no got documents nothing our forces are stretched thin enough and i have better mess missions better agents to assign them to interesting so he actually went out and he knew that there were worshipers here but they didn't believe him and then he got himself killed because he's the really terrible agent apparently there's just a sad sight all around how did you kill everybody and then die yourself don't you know about the trick of just going into your menu and swallowing down every health potion? Poor bastard. I've, I, I, I've uh, sort of remembering every time I do something like that, the uh, memes about random uh, NPCs watching the Dragonborn do things like, he stopped in front of me and pulled out 300 cabbages from nowhere. And then they rolled them down the hill for no reason. For his enjoyment. Or, uh, he stopped time and ate 300 portions of food. I don't know how. Pine Watch? What the hell is Pine Watch? Not really. What the f What? What? This might be a legitimate, like, actually normal place. I think there's just a hunter here. Oh, well, they don't want me to coming in there, so guess not. Oh, hey there, spider. And the spider's the well. Um. All right. Well, I uh, hit the spider so hard, he's halfway through the ground. Cool. I think that counts for extra damage game. What do you say? No? Okay. Didn't think so. Another Nurn root. Oh man, the mud crab. It's after me. Jeez, Lydia. It's just a crab. All right. It's interesting how they have both versions of mud crabs here. Because this mud crab, the one with like the uh, pointed top, is actually the style that you saw in Morrowind. Whereas. Where's the one you killed? This one right here, the more flat and traditional looking crab, is the one that appears in Oblivion. I guess they wanted to, like, fix that little continuity error by saying, Oh no, both of them exist. Totally. Why does the wildlife hate me? There we go. Anyways, I've gotten lost. Where am I? Oh, I we're, we're in Falkreath. Oops. We need to go this way. Wow, that uh, that shack icon just appeared so much further than it usually does. And that's fine. We can get back there soon. Now, the area up there is actually extremely dangerous for us at the level that we're at. Which is, or rather, they're going to appear as hag ravens. Really, really suck beyond belief. Um, this early in the game. Are you, are you friendly or no? Oh, they're bandits. Okay. They're very realistic that if you don't go towards the bandits, they, they're not going to mess with you. They just to tell you to basically fuck off first. It's more than most people will do in this game. Is that a, what the hell is in the tree? Wait, what? What is that? What? Is that a beehive? It is a beehive. I mean, I, I barely saw it, but I'm pretty sure it's a beehive, and I can harvest like honey or something from it, or it might be a wasp nest or something. Oh, oh, 
Oh, he's dangerous. I'm not, I, I'd rather get the beehive. Let them finish that fight first. Kill whoever's left. Oh, yeah, look at that. Get the bee. Actually, the uh, individual insects are relatively rare. I think if I were to put the bee down, it becomes like it's in a jar. Oh, wait, no, this is not ingredients. Oh, never mind. No, this is not the jarred insect. There's a, there's certain uh, unique things that are just jarred insects. And they are kind of interesting. So bandits and vampires, huh? Oh, shit. I hit Lydia. Lydia, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, nice. Ow. God damn it. I just healed that. There's that. Is that all of them? <laughs> just drops back down. All right. So that was a fun little thing there. God, this, uh, this one DLC with the, uh, oh. <gasps> Oh, oh, it's beautiful. And we have a Warhammer, folks. So this does 37 damage plus 10 more shock. Half as much as Magicka. This is 37 plus 5 fire points. Mm. So it is strictly weaker in one sense. However... Vampires, I know for sure, are weaker against fire. And I think hag ravens are as well. So for now, we can just beat the ever-loving hell out of a couple people. I'm sure we'll get better equipment, too. And eventually, we'll just make our own. Oh, that's a mountain flower. Okay, well, I guess we harvest that. But, oh well. Got a hammer. I've been waiting for a hammer to come my way for a while now. <laughs> so I'm finally glad that we got it. Ultimately, we're going to have a hammer that does, I think, fiery soul trap. And I don't know. People can vote if they want on the uh, second enchantment. Maybe absorb life. Oh, I have mail. Uh, maybe absorb life or just the generic damage. Because we don't have to worry about charges so much in this uh, version of the game. Since you can only do two effects, charges are pretty much just determined by uh, the soul gem you use. And we're going to use the grand soul gem. In fact, we can get Azura's star as well. We could get a very unique version of Azura's star, actually. The black Azura's star. Or maybe, is it called something else? I don't remember what its actual name is. Look at this mist up here. That's not even 420. Not anymore, anyway. <sighs> so close to getting up there. Nope. I can't climb the mountain. Alright, we're just going to have to go around. Walk along the sheer cliff like nothing's wrong. Alright. Uh, hmm. I could have sworn there was a way up here. Well, at least that's what it looks like on the map. Maybe we've gone too far for it? Alright, so if I turn around... And head along the road... And follow the road to the split to the west? That should be the way to go, but I thought that's where we were going. And it got me off track last time. There's a dead deer or elk. Um, oh, hey, hey, Lydia. Where did you go? What? All right. And there's a bunch of these. And then if we go up here, this is where I was going. But. This just keeps going that way, doesn't it? What am I missing here? There's Helgen. 
Oh, do I have to go through Helgen to get up there? That's going to be annoying. But also doable. No, there's got to be a way to go around it. Hmm. Got to be able to just go this way and keep going up, right? Okay, good. They didn't extend the, uh... Yeah, we can just go around Helgen right there. We don't actually have to follow it up there. And then we go this way. Is there a wolf after me? I think there is. I don't know. Who cares? It's just a wolf. There's a Stormcloak camp up here, which is interesting given how close it is to Helgen. Um, also, the fact that White Run is sort of like an in between point. Or is that a. St it, I think it's a Stormcloak camp. The bear is their symbol. It's, it's a good idea to find as many of these as you can before you pick a side in the Civil War. Because once you do, obviously the other side is going to be immediately uh, hostile to you. Granted, they have no idea. I, I have no idea how could they could possibly know you're on the other side unless you were wearing the armor. But they're still just all hostile to you. <laughs> also, all of the camps are right next to each other. Because the Imperial camp is literally right there. Oh my god, they're, are they fighting each other? Who's... Oh shit, there's witches down there. Oh, oh, those are the witches. Oh my god. We have to kill them. <laughs> the Quartermaster, someone do something. You're, you're part of the army, you do something. Oh shit. Yeah, that's right. Get closer to me. That's a good idea for you. Feel the hammer! Goodbye. Ow. Uh, neither of those two are worth grabbing. I thought it would have been a hag raven, but I guess it's just a coven of regular witches. Significantly less interesting. Good night. So, there's two... But a coven is three. Where's the third witch? Ah, there she is. Oh, God, she's got lightning. It hurts. I'm just going to stop time real quick and, you know, heal. The dragon bird's true power is actually uh, total control of temporal anomalies. Oh, it can't be good for you. There you go. The witches are dead. So, we killed them. Here's Orphan Rock. I think there is still a Hag Raven up here, actually. Oh, there's definitely a Hag Raven. So, welcome to the most dangerous enemy we have fought yet, because she spams fireball spells. Ah, also, there's another witch. That's not traditional coven rules. You're all cheating. Cheating witches. Ah! Jesus, ow. Um, uh, if I don't heal now, I may not survive that. Okay, can you stop? When do you run out of magic? Ah, I missed. Oh, she does not care. Although, she's not doing too, too much damage to us. Might not be a bad idea. Also, there we go. We're no longer a vampire in the making. Uh, some stamina back, so we can keep hitting. And we have poisons. We just picked up some frostbite poison. Yeah. Just gonna abuse this a little bit. <laughs> I'm a bad, bad person. I also could take the potion of strength if I really wanted to, but... Eh. 
Good night. And this Hagraven has Nettlebane. That's what we wanted. Crafting feathers. Ooh, you need those for uh, arrows, I'm pretty sure. Maybe? And a soul gem. Now, yeah, there's got to be some good stuff here. There's a dead Spriggan. By the way, a Spriggan on top of that would have been really, really tough. Actually, we can use the Enchanter for one thing while we're here. Because we can disenchant this Poacher's Axe. It's a very, very unique enchantment. Three extra damage to animals. Huntsman's Prowess enchantment. Yeah, it is a unique thing. Very interesting. Um, sneaking. Do I want to dismantle this? Eh, maybe not. Increase Magicka. I don't really care about it. And these are worth way more. I could sell them for a ton. Resist fire? Yeah, I can do this one. Am I wearing this one? I am wearing it. So while this would be great for me to dismantle right now, because that light armor skill by 17 points is really good to learn, not worth it to actually do it while I'm using it. All right. And for everything else, I could just leave for now. Good. There we go. It's actually one of the easiest ways to uh, raise your enchanting skill at the beginning of the game. Just disenchant stuff that you find that's like not expensive enough, enough to, you know, carry. And also, if you find yourself with an enchanting table and you're running out of space, you know, disenchant something that's like a heavy piece of armor because you'll get the enchantment forever and uh, you won't have to worry about it. All right. Oh, God. This is the poor guy who didn't survive. I'm going to take your shit. There's a bucket. Anything useful? Ooh, another chest. Oh, it's a locked chest. They got secrets in here. Or probably moderate amounts of gold. One of the two. I'm sure it's not secrets. I'd love it to be secrets, kidding. Anything good? Eh, gold. Called it. All right, there we go. I think that's everything here. Yes, that should be everything. All right. So, we can bring the nettle bane there. However, that will enact the second part of the quest. That's fine, because we have to go around anyway. What I'm wondering, is there... There's no way to get up to High Hrothgar. I may just fast travel up there, actually, and give him the horn, because <laughs> getting up the mountain again is a kind of annoying task. But... I think our first point of order should probably be to find a couple of things here. We'll go back, give the nettle bane. Because there is a barrow over here. And this barrow would be useful to have unlocked. Actually, that's not a barrow. That's a burial mound? We'll find out in a moment. Now, I'm glad we survived the hag raven. There are places where there are multiple hag ravens and, uh... It can get very dangerous. What are you doing over here? Oops. Sorry I hit you in the face with the hammer. I'm sure it didn't hurt. Gold? What are you all doing in here? Skywatch, huh? That's not... What is this place? I thought it was a burial mound, but definitely not. Did I just, like, come into their house and kill them for no reason? Oops. Activate pedestal. Oh, we're gonna come back here and put something here. I don't remember what this is for. Oh, here we go. Skybound watch pass. Pass. Where does it go? So this either comes out at the bottom of the mountain here, or has an exit somewhere over on the other side, which could be really nice to explore, actually. So maybe we'll take that after we are uh, have given back or given the dagger Nettlebane to Danica. Be interesting to go through here, and if it pops us through on the other side of the mountain, that's even better. What? It, 
it doesn't seem like that's where it would lead us. And then the only other thing on this mountain is over here. There's a Dwemer ruin, which we're not going to go into because they will fuck us up. Uh, but we can certainly look at it. God, if we ran into a Centurion, we would just be squashed. Like literally made into paste. And I say literally because they're machines and they probably made jam when they were, you know, not war machines. I'm always, I'm always curious. You never see anything other than war machines inside of the Dwemer ruins. Did they ever make anything that wasn't weapons? Or maybe they were just very uh, paranoid people. Who knows? I, I, I can't remember what the uh, one Dwemer in Morrowind was actually like. Oh god, we're on top of the mountain. This is not a pl good place to be. Oh yeah, that is a drop. How about right here? Here we go. I can live. Go down here. That's a frost wraith. I don't think we've seen those enemies yet. I mean, they're not fun. Don't get me wrong. Mostly because if you play any sort of character with physical prowess, it's not going to be fun. Wait, you're not frost wraith. What the hell are you? Oh, there's a wisp. Wait, no, I don't think I've ever seen a wisp mother before. Can I not hurt you? Yes, I can. Whoa. She, um, hurts. Oh, she drains your magic. Oh. Oh my goodness. She does not care about my hammer. Not at all. Holy shit. Well. That's a learning experience there. Don't fight Wisp Mothers because they don't care. But I'm not going to make you sit through all of that again. And thankfully, we're at a decent enough time. I'm going to do all of that again off camera and <laughs> get back to that point. Uh, wow. Wisp mothers just don't care. Maybe too high for my level. <gasps> I don't have the hammer. Oh, uh, whatever. We'll get a better hammer. Still still was not worthy of the fuck you hammerness. That will come later. Anyways. <sighs> I'll see you guys next time. And uh, we'll go and give that dagger back to Danica. Be well on our way to restoring the tree in Whiterun. Thanks for watching. Bye bye <laughs>